Hello guys, how are you guys doing? I am doing well. Welcome back to the channel. So today's topic is on grief. How to cope and overcome the loss of a loved one. This is the most difficult video that I would ever create on this channel. I am going through it. I am going through the physical pain the emotional pain, just the natural expenses when you lose someone that close to your heart, especially when it happens suddenly, or even if it happens gradually through sickness or anything like that. It's just the most difficult thing to go through. So I took it upon myself today to come here and share some of my coping strategies that I have been using to help me through these difficult times. The first strategy that I do is always spiritual. So I always look at it as death is an illusion. So the spirit in my mother can never die, can never be cremated, or can never be buried. She was a pure spirit that took on a physical body. She expanded herself within that body and the body cannot um, sustain her any longer so she lay down her body herself and then because she was never her body to begin with she was never her possessions to begin with and she was never her collections her physical body that was left with us wasn't her real identity her real identity is spirit it's a spirit that moves on that a spirit that is everywhere a spirit that is within myself I can call my mother because she's back to source and source is within me. I can call my mother at any time for anything. So that is one way I cope with the loss of my mother. I tell myself these things. Days that are very hard. There are some days that I just don't want to do anything. Because when you think about someone that you love so much, I'm not even going to feel ashamed to cry or on camera when you lose someone that you love so much you don't have a physical contact with them it's the most difficult thing to ever endure in this lifetime i think it would be the most difficult thing but i always remind myself i always tell myself you know hang in there you know call her within yourself call her because she's spirit and she can hear you She's everywhere. She knows everything. She can see you. So it's just that your physical eyes cannot see her. That doesn't mean they're not around. So try to put that at the back of your mind. And I know it's hard. There's no right or wrong way to grieve. And no one knows how long the grieving process takes. However, just keep that in the back of your mind that you can call them at any time. Sometimes I even talk to her while driving or be right before going to bed or when I'm when I feel like calling her I act like I was on the phone with her and telling her what I want her to hear so that sometimes she comes in um, in a dream form and then answer some of my um, some of my questions or answer some of my issues that I'm, I, I ask her to address for me. So hang tight spiritually, just think about the spirit, that these people are spirit, they have laid on the, the physical body and they have moved on to a bigger realm. So psychologically, I would encourage you to uh, take care of your mental health. So there are some days that the mind will bring all these experiences with you the mind will you know ask you questions should you have done more should you have not done more the guilt part try to control it and even the emotions some days that i find myself crying i try to focus on the feeling i observe the feeling because remember you are the observer you are not your emotions and you are not your feelings you are the observer of your feelings and you are the observer of your emotions so what i do as i see that there is a feeling coming up or there's an emotion coming up i am consciously watching it closely so i'm not um taking away or to a different you know thinking 
uh, realm where I can't even control myself, then I lose control of my mind and myself. So be keen to that. Be very conscious and watch your feelings and your emotions. And if you see that you're getting out of control, usually if you watch them closely, if you watch your thoughts closely, you're able to control them. Just don't let the mind control you because you're not uh, the mind. You are the observer of the mind. On the psychologically, you can also uh, try to, you know, celebrate this person's life instead of their death, right? So celebrate all the good memories. Sometimes I ask myself, what would my mom like me to do, or what would my mom say to me? So the, I console myself because I know she would say, why are you crying? Why are you crying? What is wrong? And she would always console me and always make me feel like, you know, this big baby that I've always been to my mom. So, and I try to remember all the good memories that I had with my mom, um, all the good pictures and just her perfect smile. I mean, every time you see her, she's always smiling. So I keep those images at the back of my mind instead of dwelling on the fact that she's no longer with me. So mentally, by dwelling on the fact that you had all these good memories, they, tr they recreate in your mind and it feels like the now. Because remember, there is no past, there is no future. And whatever you are thinking in the future, it always present itself in the present moment. So what I do is that I recreate all these memories that I had with my mom and I create them in the now. Sometimes I find myself smiling because of some, some of the silly stuff she would tell me. Sometimes I just see myself happy because I, you know, I saw her very happy woman. So try to um, also think about all the good memories and all the good, you know, things that you had with this, this person. And another thing is dwell on the blessings, dwell on the, the guidance this person ever gave to you. Um, dwell on all the good thoughts and the good things that they ever advised you to do. So you put that in the back of your mind and you said, you know what, actually, because the time is always now, they don't feel like they've been gone. You might miss their physical present, but again, when you are thinking of spirituality, the physical realm is the lowest realm. So you always want to stay in the spiritual realm. This is where you are going to see the inner world of, of the other worlds. And even this person who has who uh, departed from this physical world, you are able to come in contact with them if you stay in the spiritual realm of life. So that is my um, psychological aspect. When it comes to physical care after the loss of a loved one, please, please, please try to eat normal routine diet. Try to eat healthy, try to get some sleep because when you sleep, you, you get restoration and you're able to face another day in a happy, more joyful um, way. And also, sometimes when we're depressed or when we're sad, we forget we, we forget to take showers or brush our teeth. You know, try to go back to your normal routine as much as you can. Exercise is a very good way to just uh, release hormones in your body that keeps you happy, that keeps you going, and just keeps gives you hope. So another physical activity that you can do for yourself to keep you, your mind healthier and your physical body healthier is try to engage in activities that you enjoy doing. I just engage my mind on things that are not depressing, that's gonna keep my mind stuck on, you know, things that are sad about this loved one or missing this person. So try, I mean, like I said, there's no right or wrong way. I'm just trying to share the best I know how and what I am doing. I get myself involved in, you know, activities that I like. I go for my evening walks, you know, I try to run around, you know, just find something that brings me joy. So that way I am still, you know, feeling the natural feelings about the loss of this person, but also I'm taking care of myself so I don't get, you know, sick or I don't make everybody around me unpleasant because, you know, when you're mourning and when you're sad, you think it's just you, but it's affecting everybody around you. So you got to be mindful about that and then keep that in mind. I hope this video helped whoever is um, also coping the loss of a loved one. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Peace be upon you and God Almighty's blessings.
Thank you.